101. Stardom 101. Stardom 101. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. Shine your light on today's tastemakers and innovators. It's the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast. It's Starter 101 Magazine Podcast here back on iHeartRadio. Thank you guys once again for tapping in to our show, our platform. You guys have requested that we continue to do these type of episodes where we feature talented individuals on the rise to stardom. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I got a very, very, very special friend on the line. She goes by the name of Lady Tease. Lady Tease, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? fantastic indianapolis indiana what's the what's the weather out there what's going on out there uh, it's cold it's <laughs> really cold it's best to stay in the house stay warm uh <laughs> she said don't come outside <laughs> right right that's what's up that's what's up for those who don't know you do this music thing you do this music thing and uh can you let us know if you got any current music out right now um, yes, I have um some music like all on music platforms. Mm-hmm. Um a song called Let's Ride. Mm-hmm. Um another song called Whoop That Ho. Um mm-hmm. uh, Thomas Money. I actually um just performed Whoop That Ho and Thomas Money. Wow. Um, I had went to the Damon Dash showcase mm-hmm. recently. Um so that was nice. Um, had a good time, you know, just trying to basically promote my music and yeah. do more shows. That's what's up. And that was, uh, where, where was that? That was at California? Where, where, where was that at? That showcase with David Dash? Um, that was actually here in nice. um, Indianapolis. Oh, wow. Yeah. They, 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 okay, they, they ain't moving around. <laughs> Looking for talent. Yeah, it was at um, 1111 Bar and Grill. Nice. That's what's up. That's what's up. Do you think you're going to drop uh, a new album anytime this year? Obviously, it's New Year. We early in the year. It's first quarter. Uh, most people drop singles right about now. I know you got a couple of singles circulating. Um, any hopes or aspirations for an album? Um. Yes, I'm actually working on one now. Mm-hmm. Um. That's in the works. Um. I'm hoping to have it pushed out by. Um, sometime this year, mm-hmm. um, I'm focused on doing music videos and trying to push visuals too. That's right now, that's what's up. Are you big on like doing features and stuff like that with other co- artists, collaborations, or are you really just building your own catalog right now? Um, yeah, I actually did a few features. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead right now. Um, I don't know if y'all know uh, Lil Thur. He's a good artist too. Mm-hmm. Um, Lil Thur, Illy Octane. Uh, Rich Fest, you know, he got Rich Harvest, mm-hmm. um, and then uh, SD Collision Music, um, all dope artists. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. And I know right now, you know, a lot of artists, um, they be in multiple bags, you know, they be mo- doing multiple things, uh, collecting different type of uh, checks and whatnot. And I know you do this modeling thing. Um, any uh, goals and plans with that? Any shoots coming up? Anything that we could be on the lookout for? Um, yes, I'm looking to do more photo shoots, um, mm-hmm. you know, cause I need more, you know, album covers and, mm-hmm. um, just marketing and, you know, branding and all of that. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I do plan on doing more photo shoots soon. I would say within the next month or so, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um, that way I can start pushing out new photos. That's what's up. That's what's up. Any um any uh TV film, you know, some people do fashion, some people do merch, get their own clothing line. You kind of see yourself doing anything of that na- nature as well, or you kind of just really focus on what you got now? Um, yeah, because actually I had put my music on hold at one point okay. and started my business. I had a boutique. Mm. It's called Tamika New Boutique. Um, I actually set up at different locations. Um vendors and stuff so like i've been in the mall circle center mall in indianapolis downtown um riverside every sunday you know everybody go out there and set up their stuff they merch and yeah pretty much everywhere but now i'm working on a shop so that's what's up 
and then I came back, started my music again. So I'm trying to kind of mix both in mm. and get the models to, you know, model my brand, come up mm -hmm. with my clothing line, get that together, you know, do a show, and then have models model. Oh, nice. Like a nice uh, fashion show. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, that's a good lane. Okay. How do you like um balance, you know, you just mentioned a lot, your motherhood and your career, right? Because, you know, we live real life too. You know, we got kids, we got responsibilities. Um, Do you find that challenging at all? Like what's the best way or how do you find out the best way to balance uh, your career and being a parent as well too? Um, it, It's not so bad mm -hmm. you know i still try i definitely make time for my kids they can come first mm -hmm. but before anything um but i definitely i do have a job like a full-time job as well um mm -hmm. work from home like three days out the week so it's kind of convenient considering you know mm -hmm. and um yeah i just make sure i balance everything out based on my calendar you know mm -hmm. keep track of everything you know, but I also find time to be a mother. That's important. That's what's so. up. That's what's up. Do you foresee yourself like staying more so on the independent side, or are you like seeking a major deal uh, for you can have that the machine behind you, or like what's the best um, preference you think work for you as an artist? Um, right now I'm just focusing on um, just marketing myself and promoting mm -hmm. and trying to get things in order. I do got somebody that wants to sign me. Mm. So, but I can't really go into all that. I got to <laughs> discuss it with that person and, you know, go over everything, but um not sure if it's going to fall through or what what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, but right now I know I'm focused on trying to push my, my own music and promote myself. So That's what's that's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Any people on your on your team on your squad that you want to give a shout out to uh, for supporting you and uh, continue to, to be by your side throughout the thick and thin. You know, some people in the background they they're very important to us, but they don't get that public recognition because we in the public limelight, but they not. But they're important. Uh, this is the opportunity right. to shout them out. Anybody you could think of? Um, I'm gonna say SD Collision. Mm -hmm. Um, he's a dope artist. He's from, actually from that town here, you know. Um, he's worked with a lot of people, um, different people like everywhere, um, ATL, Cali, Memphis. Um, he's actually doing his thing right now. Um, we done had conversations, of course, which everybody does about that town and, and people not really supporting their own mm. indie talent, you know. Mm. Um, so we try to branch out. So he's teaching me that basically and trying to work with me and help me to branch out to other places like mm -hmm. Atlanta and you know, don't just stick in one place. That's what's up. That's what's up. Shout out to him for doing that. And uh final question for you. Do you think your city, your hometown, uh Indianapolis, Indiana get the proper recognition it deserves as far as artists out there like yourself really grinding, really doing what they do? I know it's pretty much a lot of talent out there. Uh do the people not understand how talented you guys are? What is, what are they not getting um about your city, your town? Um it's like you got those that are trying to help those artists that are um, like talented, mm -hmm. but don't get the recognition that they need, you know, mm -hmm. that they deserve. Um, so you got those that are building a platform, you know, I actually appreciate those people. Mm -hmm. um, and then you got the ones that are sticking to the artists who they believe are talented and you know, because mm -hmm. maybe they got enough. I see. They I got see. people that's behind them, backing them up. Yeah. So it's just, it's definitely different. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, it's like you got to build your own lane and just move around that. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, once you get all them fans, other places, Atlanta, Memphis, all that, Indy mm -hmm. going to follow. That's what they do. That's the oxy. I got you. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> that's what's yeah. up. So, any final word you want to give to the audience, your listeners right now that's tapping in? Any final words you want them to look forward 
uh, to be on the lookout uh, for and look forward to from you? Um, yeah, I would say um, y'all can look out for my next album. Um, just look on YouTube or Spotify. Uh, I'm going to keep y'all up to date. You know, I definitely um, post new music and, and stuff on um, all music platforms. Also, you can follow me on my IG at lady dot dot five eight nine. That's what's up. That's what's up. It's Starter 101 Magazine. We appreciate you, Lady T's. Y'all thank y'all once again for tapping into a new episode. Until next time, peace. Are you on the rise to stardom? Well, get featured in the next issue of Stardom 101 Magazine and promote your business or products today. Text MAG to 804 804- 550-8647 or visit stardom101mag.net. You're listening to the Stardom 101 Magazine Podcast with Christopher Boykin. Be sure to subscribe and download this episode and continue to listen to Stardom on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts.